Celestial Tower, a place of rest for innocent spirits. Okay, so Celestial Tower, let's see what we've got here. Hello. They say that when you ring the bell on top of this tower, it pleases the resting spirits. Okay. Question is, are there any wild Pokemon to be found around here? Uh, where Pokemon are laid to rest. So this is kind of like Lavender Tower. So maybe like Lavender Tower, there might be some like ghost type Pokemon, wild ghost type Pokemon to be found. Well, one thing I will say is we get to have a proper 3D uh, view of me going up the uh, the stairs there. That's kind of cool. Okay, yep, looks like we are going to have a few battles. Indescribable energy is flowing to me. Okay, then. I think we might have a bunch of psychics or other similar people here. Ooh, this is a new Pokemon. LGM. No idea if that's how you say it, but I don't care. <laughs> L LGM, okay. Um... Let's go with the Leaf Blade for now. Ah, you're bringing out a Sigilyph as well. Right, well, in that case then, I'm bringing out a Zebstriker. And let's just use Spark, why not? There we go, no problem. And Solosis. Uh, I don't really have any Pokemon that know any Dark type moves on me right now, I don't think. Because I've uh, put a uh, uh Rock. Back in uh, Pokemon storage. Don't really have anyone else. But that's okay. I'll just rely on my other Pokemon instead. Energy is escaping, eh? A lot of energies are swirling around in the world, including hopes and dreams. Okay, question is, can we get to this item from here? No. But I can talk to you. Hello. Meow, meow, meow. This sign means have a battle with me. Alright. Meow, meow. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I was half expecting either a, um, a purloin or a light pod, but nope, it's a dealing. Okay, not quite what I was expecting, but never mind. Aromatherapy? Hmm. Okay, well, good for you. Ah, and of course, slam missed. I don't really like slam at all. See? See what I mean? The amount of times that I've already missed when you slam, it's uh, not one of my favourite moves at all. And if you were to learn it, Superior, I would much rather you learn Body Slam. Uh, do I want to switch Pokemon? No, let's stick with Superior for now. Oi! How do you frisk around for a Miracle Seed? Just for that, I'm going to have to use Mega Drain on you. Hmm, I actually did a bit more damage than I thought. Nice. And you can use Embargo on me as well. I mean, well, I mean, that's fine and all. I'll just carry on using uh, Mega Drain instead. There we go. Ooh, as good as full health as any. Oh, you're welcome. I'll gladly take the battle experience. Meow, meow, meow. I am copying the Pokemon I used to live with. Ah, okay. Fair enough. But what's this item? Hyper Potion? I'll gladly take that. Good stuff.
When Pokemon trainers meet, what we do is, of course, engage in a Pokemon battle, don't we? Um, last time I checked, that's what happens. I mean, that's what I've been doing all this time. Um, on this, uh, on this uh, journey. It's a nice Pikachu uh, uh, sweater you're wearing there. Quite amusing considering Pikachu aren't native to uh, Unova. Oh, and again! And again! Slam misses. I absolutely hate Slam. Slam is definitely one of the absolute worst moves any Pokemon can learn. There, I've said it. I've said it. So, you know what? I think we'll just have to rely on Vanillish. And your Ice Beam. Ooh, Shockwave. Oof, wow, that was a critical hit. Alright. There we go, no problem. And Herdia. Ooh, actually, uh, I do have a Pokemon that knows a fighting type move, so this will be a good opportunity to check out what this move looks like. So let's go, Darn Manaton. Of course, you're going to use Intimidate, but considering how high my attack stat is, it probably won't be too bad. So, you know what? Let's see what Hammer Arm looks like. Oh, right in the back. Oh, and it was a critical hit as well. Okay, yeah, so that's right. So, using that lowers Darn Manhattan's speed stat, but that's okay. Hey, Jude, I just beat you in a Pokemon battle. Na 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 na. Hey Jude. Ah, <laughs> uh, love that Beatles song. Uh, yes, I do want to have a battle with you. You have a strong Pokemon. Interesting. Interesting, you say a strong Pokemon so bad. Sounds like you only have the one, but if it's one, that typically means that it might be strong, or at least it'll be higher level. Ooh, a Swadloom. Actually, that's not good news for Superior. Okay, okay, alright. That's actually not good news for Superior. So instead, let's bring out Don Manitan once again. Also, thinking about this, Citrulith is actually gaining quite a lot of experience points right now, thanks to the, uh... Thanks to the experience share, so I think I might give the experience share to someone else now. We go, no problem at all. Okay, so before we continue any further, I'm actually gonna take the experience share off you and I'm gonna give it to I'm gonna give it to Palpatode. Because I have a funny feeling you might be due an evolution soon if I'm remembering things right, so I'm just gonna give that to you. Ah, that's right, you're holding an Eviolite. Which, of course, I think makes some of your stats stronger. But once you evolve, that uh, becomes useless. To be honest, I think with most of my Pokemon, I think the Eviolite would soon become useless right now. I think Vanillish can evolve one more time, if I remember rightly. But uh, we'll see. Anyway, what's this item? Ooh, Will O Wisp. Okay, that might come in handy. We shall see. Oh, okay. Well, that's answered that question. There are wild Pokemon in this place. Ooh, a Litwick. Okay. Right. Yeah, wild Litwick. All right. Um. Hmm. Should I try and catch you? Yeah, you know what? We'll give it a go. Even though I think most of my Pokemon are pretty strong, but we'll certainly give it a go. Nightshade, which is, you know, kind of whatever. Now, the big question is, will a Shockwave be too strong for this Litwick? Something tells me it might be, but we'll give it a go anyway. I mean, I could just use Flame Charge, but you know, it'll probably take a few of them. Ooh, actually. Ooh. 
That was just enough. I will gladly take that. Right, uh, let's see. I've got a few water balls, but honestly, I think we might be able to get away with using great balls still on the level 26 Litwick. I'm hoping. Yeah, no problem at all. Good stuff, excellent. I'm starting to wonder if uh, there were any wild Pokemon. I seem to remember there were, and thankfully, that is the case. Anyway, Litwick, the candle Pokemon. Litwick shines a light that absorbs the life energy of people and Pokemon, which becomes the fuel that it burns. Hmm, interesting. Um, but... I'm probably not going to be using you anytime soon, but yeah, we'll see. Oh, wild Pokemon on the stairs. <laughs> uh, it's just another Litwick. Okay, no, we don't need another one now. We're good. But if there happen to be any other Pokemon around here, then I will gladly uh, catch a few more. But let's just keep on going up the tower. And... We'll activate this, even though it looks like there might not be any hidden items at all. Okay, just another Litwick. That's all I'm seeing so far. But it wouldn't surprise me if there are some other Pokemon to be found. Oh, guess what you are? You are a Pokemon trainer. No way! What gave that away? <laughs> Ah, Mashana. I haven't seen you in a little while. Wow, that hardly did anything. Wowzers, that hardly did anything. Okay. Okay, that hardly did anything at all. Right, okay. Alright, alright, alright. If that's how you want it. Then that's how it's going to be. So, Sigilith, I'm just going to borrow you for a moment. Ah, uh, this actually would have been a good opportunity to actually have my um, my dog type Pokemon with me. Oh well, never mind. Uh, well, I'll tell you what. While you're asleep, I'm just going to use I'm just going to use a hyper potion on Superior. There we go. Yeah, you'll use Psy Beam on a Psychic Pokemon, that's hardly going to do anything. And, you know what, while I'm here, I might as well use a Super Potion on... I'll use it on Zep Striker. I'm not going to use it on Vanillite. Probably not going to use Vanillite for the rest of this uh, tower adventure. Uh, right. Yeah, you're probably still going to be fast asleep because I'm it's effectively just using moves, but... That's fine. We'll just uh, just take our chance here. We'll just hope that you wake up soon. No, just uh, I'm gonna sleep again. Luckily, you're just using Psy Beam, so it's not gonna do a huge amount of damage. But man, yeah. Really could have done with a uh, really could have done with a dark type Pokemon. Uh, question is, do I want to use an Awakening? Assuming I have a few on me. Oh wow, I've only got one. Huh. Okay. Well. Um well, you know what? No point in switching Pokemon. I'm just gonna take a chance and just hope that uh, you're not gonna attack Sigilith too much. Oh, nice. Woke up straight away. That's what I like to see. Excellent. Oof, man. Okay, thankfully that was your only Pokemon. But yeah, kind of wish I had a Dark type Pokemon with me now, but never mind. That's the way it goes. What pleases Sleeping Spirits is a hot Pokemon battle. Okay. Let's see if we can really turn the heat up on this battle then. It's better to be a good one. Mickey. 
And it's your mask. All right. And we're superior now at full health. We should have no problem now. Ooh, you're using Curse, but I've already dealt a lot of damage to you, so, yep, you're gone. He did put a Curse on my superior, but... I'm not too worried. Especially considering I could just simply switch. Question is, who shall I switch to? You know what, let's, let's switch to Palpatode. Why not? I don't use Palpatode too much. Let's bring you out for a little bit. Nice. Alright, good stuff. Thank you very much for the help, Palpatoad. When I come here at Celestial Tower, strangely, I feel the urge to fight. Does that prove I am alive? Um... Ooh, well, I don't know. I mean... <laughs> Maybe? Who knows? Anyway, uh, let's see what Lin has for me. We have a Litwick, that's for sure. I'm probably going to immediately switch to Palpatode. Let's just switch you out immediately. There we go. And bring back uh, out uh, Palpatode. Prison. Sealed my moves. Alright, I mean, I guess that's fine. Just going to use Bubble Beam so I can uh, put out that candle of yours. There you go. Bring out Swoobat. Um, let's switch out for Zeb Striker. Let's just make this a nice, quick and easy, well, hopefully quick and easy uh, conclusion to this battle. She's good old Spark. Yep, yeah, no problem whatsoever. Ah, Palpatode is level 35. Nice. In a way, the Celestial Tower is a space full of desires to live. Fair enough. Well, sadly, I can't seem to see what's under there, but never mind. I guess there was nothing important. Apart from this item, and uh, presumably a Pokemon has been guarding it. Okay, so one thing I can... Um, one thing I can say about this place is this place is pretty much just home of Wild Litwick. I'm not seeing anything else. Spell tag. Not really seeing any other Pokemon. Ah, that person there looks like someone who can heal my Pokemon, which is quite nice. I mean, I've already done a bit of healing already, but uh, I'd say they were like essential healing for some of my Pokemon there. Duosian. Ah, okay, the evolved form of um, Solosis. Okay. Duosian. I wonder if that's kind of like a combination of, you know, Duo and Illusion or something. So maybe it's Duosian. Who knows? Either way, I'm going to hopefully defeat you. And get a whole bunch of juicy experience points out of it. <laughs> yep, that was it, I'm afraid. And you must want to help heal my Pokemon, but of course I need to battle you, don't I? Well, I mean, that's fine. Bringing out a Gofita. Alright. You're probably going to frisk me for my Miracle Seed again. You certainly are. Okay. 
Right, uh, let's start with Mega Drain. I know this won't do a huge amount of damage, but we can at least get some health back. And that'll be nice. Actually, I... that actually did a lot more than I thought. Or saw on attack. Well, did you foresee a second Mega Drain? Something tells me you didn't. There you go. Al uh, mo I have I cannot remember what kind of Pokemon that is. But I had a feeling it was uh, potentially a fish. Al Alamomola. Sounds to me like uh, maybe sort of based on the name like what was it the Mola Mola fish? I think it's also known as the Sunfish. I don't know what's going on with my controller. It must be the cable I'm using. But it's constantly disconnecting today. I definitely have to see what's going on here. Anyway, Pokemon fully healed. That must mean... There might... oh, of course there's a Pokemon. There's a Pokemon waiting. Literally right where I'm standing to get my Pokemon healed. Oh, you are such a little sod, aren't you, Litwick? No, I'm not interested in you. Go away. I want to go up these stairs. Well, I say stairs. It, it's, mo it, it's more like a very steep slope. Anyway, yeah, there's more trainers up here. So, let's uh, continue up this tower. Alright, Beckett. Ooh, Stoutland. It's the first encounter we've had of a Stoutland. Not 100% sure, but... No, I think it is. I'm pretty sure this is the first time we've seen a Stoutland. Oh, Ice Fang. Oh, boy. That's not ideal. Okay, right. Um, hmm. Okay. I mean, it's not going to be... So Super strong, I don't think, against uh, my superior, but um, yeah, that's something worth looking up for. Ooh, we are so close as well to leveling up. Oh, that would be just perfect. Uh, um, superior. Anyway. Want a battle? Pokemon that grew up in Unova and Pokemon that grew, uh, grew up elsewhere both rest here quietly. Ah, oh, okay, fair enough. So yeah, this tower definitely reminds me of the uh, the original Lavender Tower. Oh, Swoobat. I mean, I guess that's fine. I'll just have to use uh, Zeb Striker instead. Calm Mind? That's going to increase one of your defense. No, it increases. Okay, it increases special defense. That's fine. I'll just use a physical attack instead. So, um, yeah. Good luck with that, Swoobat. Nah. There we go. Level 40 superior. And level 36 Palpatoad. Nice. Uh, Gofferita, let's keep battling for now. Uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's just keep using Spark for now, where's striker No reason to switch things up. Flatter! Oh boy, that's basically, uh, the, that's almost like the equivalent of, um, what was it, Swagger. Oh, but unfortunately for you, I was able to resist that uh, f bit of flattery there. Nice, good work there, Zeb Striker.
Oh, hello, and we have an evolution. I had a feeling you were going to evolve soon. Nice. Excellent. That's a nice way to potentially finish up this tower. Oh my, Seismitoad, nice. Interesting, you want to learn acid of all moves. Um, no, we're not gonna bother with that. Good stuff, nice. So yeah, that Eviolite definitely is gonna be of no use to, to you now, uh, Seismitoad, but uh, good to have you evolve anyway. And seriously, another wild Litwig. Is this really the only Pokemon that can be found around here? Although, admittedly, it is only daytime, so... Maybe if I was playing this later on uh, at night, it might... Uh, there might be some more Pokemon to be found. We shall see. There's uh, Skylar. Oh, you came! Thank you! I was right. When I saw... What, what I saw was a hurt Pokemon. Don't worry, though. It's fine now. I gave it a max revive, then it felt better, and flew away. Oh, cool. Don't I have great eyesight? No matter how far away things are, a pilot's eyes can see them. Uh, since you come this far, why don't you ring the bell? Celestial Tower's bell is for soothing the spirits of Pokemon. Also, the character of the person ringing the bell is reflected in its sound. Ooh, okay, well, if you want me to do the honours, I will gladly ring the bell. Yes, I will... Ring that bell. The sound of the bell reverberates through the area. So there. You are a kind and strong person. It's that kind of sound. I'd like to introduce myself again. I'm Skylar, the leader of Mistralton's Pokemon Gym. I use flying type Pokemon. When you are ready, please come to the gym. I'll give you a big welcome. Well then. I guess that means we can now take on the gym leader. Now the question is, can I fly off this tower directly? Nice, okay. Because I can't be bothered going all the way down there. Instead, we're just gonna fly right off this tower. Straight back to Mistralton City, heal up our Pokemon, and call it a day with this recording session. So, just a uh, nice bit of exploring in today's session, and just a few battles as well. So, all good stuff, really. But next time, well, there's only one thing we have, we absolutely have to do next time. The next Pokemon Gym, and hopefully get our sixth, sixth gym badge. I can't believe we're almost about to get our sixth gym badge already. I feel like, it feels like we're going quite quickly in terms of getting our gym badges, but uh, maybe that's just me. Who knows? But that's what will be happening next time. So, for now, thanks very much for watching everyone, and until next time, I shall catch you all later.